Mm, mm, mm. Today we are going to make some pizza with this Weber pizza stone in a gas grill. It's good to start the preparation early, so first we are going to make the sauce. Slice garlic in uh, super thin slices, like this. Then put your slices on the pan and put some oil in there and heat it up just slightly. We want to infuse the taste of garlic in the oil, so we don't want to use hot pan. Then we taste the oil and it's good to go. Let's put some black pepper in there also. Check that crushed tomatoes don't have any tomato juice in there, only tomatoes and salt. Simmer it down a bit, like hour or two hours, so much that it's thick like this so that you can draw in it. Now it's good to go. And now it's time to make the dough. So two deciliters of hot water, so that it's like 42 to 43 degrees, so a little bit over your body temperature. Put one tablespoon of yeast and a little bit honey to activate it faster. Mix everything up, cover it, and now after a few minutes, check this out if there's bubbles forming up then the yeast is activated. Okay, now we can start to make the dough. Gradually increase the amount of flour there. I think this is like four and a half deciliters. Bit oil and salt, and then mix everything up. And always gradually increase the flour and then mix it up. We don't want to put too much flour in there, so this dough should be quite loose, but eventually you can start to knead it. Then put some flour on the table and you can start to knead it there. At first it might feel that this is too sticky for kneading, but don't put any more flour there. You can put this dough to rest, so let it rest a while and after that gluten is doing its work to combine it so that it is not sticky anymore. Okay, and now it's ready to be divided in four parts, meaning four different pizzas. Yum yum yum. Let the dough balls rest like hour or two so that it's doubled in size. You can put some oil there to prevent drying. And in meanwhile you can go to the forest to look some toppings. Here is Boletus edulis and also here is some chanterelles. So those should be good. Fry nice color to these rooms before putting those in a pizza, so you can get extra crispiness and taste. And now it's time to start up heating up the pizza stone. So put pizza stone in the grill and put it in full power and close the lid. Let it heat up for 15 minutes. And rye flour is my weapon of choice when baking pizza. So this prevents the pizza dough to stick into this uh, pizza shovel. Roll down a nice pizza so that you don't destroy the yeast bubbles. Put some sauce in it. One scoop is enough. Then some prosciutto. Some boletus edulis. Some super delicious chanderelles. And a little bit red onions with these green parts, of course. So this is fresh stuff. And some 10 cheese of choice on top and it's ready to go. Slide pizza in. If you don't have this kind of shovel, use cardboard plate. And after 7 minutes or so, it's ready to enjoy. And look at it. It has nice charring on the sides and it's crispy. Here is a closer look up at the pizza, so definitely it's time for a taste review. Mm -hmm. And as a fin, that is much said, 5 out of 5. And remember, before putting pizza in an oven or a grill, shake it a little bit. If it's stuck, put more flour.